Hello guys, and finally, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm sorry for the extended wait. If you want to know why the wait was so long, just go ahead and watch my update video. The video I released before this where I was playing on the Blockheart server, I let you know exactly why my absence has been so long. Anyway, uh, I did the stuff I said I would do off-screen, getting my team to 62. Unfortunately, I have to keep two slaves with me, so I don't have my full party. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and ask you the question of the day now, because it actually pertains to my recent absence. Uh, would you prefer me to power through illnesses in order to record, or would you prefer if I waited until I was feeling 100%? Because that's what I normally do. I wait until I feel at 100%, and then I record, because I, f I feel like I'm on top of my game when I do that, and I prefer to always be on top of my game when I record. And let's go ahead and use that. You may be able to notice I'm still a little bit sleepy. I slept rather late today, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to get through here. Now, I don't remember if I've been here yet, but my guess is no. My guess is I've not been here yet, and this guy's gonna fight me, so that is very much true. Oh, 58 Breloom and 58 Metacham. It only took two Psychics, but I had to U-turn out with Rafiki, and then I got Spored. And then after that, uh, Seed Bombed and Mocked Punched. But and after that, it was two Okos, so... There we are. Let's just go ahead and get this over with. Stark Mountain. Uh, I don't know, remember whether we have to rock climb up or we, whether we have to climb the stairs. We Turns out either one would have been okay. And I think this is someone who... Yep, wants to fight me. Hooray! Level 60 Dragon Knight. And it got off two uh, Dragon Dances before I could do any damage to it because it used Safeguard on the turn I went to go use Thunder Wave with Tesla, so... Uh, U-Turn proving to be a huge blessing now that I have the Battle Style all to uh, set instead of Shift. We... What's down here? Oh, no, that's just the way back. Go up the mountain! Ah, Life Orb! Boosts your damage output by, I think, 1.25 or 1.5, but in exchange takes, I think, an eighth of your HP every turn? And I can't quite remember, so let's... No, it just says some HP. So I'd actually have to look up the exact specifications of it. Let's go just uh, go up here, because I don't feel like going up the bike trail again. Do do. I've always loved this music. Do do. I'm not sure if it's just me, or Stark Mountain has more smoke coming out of lava than I remember. Oh, hey, Galactic! You need to get deep inside. Let's do this. That's what he said. Can old guy really take over? Can he replace Cyrus? Oh, boy. Elder Charon. Oh, fantastic. Not Charon. Alright, well, let's go in and stop them, because we have to. Repels effect wore off. Brilliant! We're in the eruption zone. Oh, hi, Mars. Uh, Cyrus? He died. Distortion world? Where Giratina was? Not making any sense. Don't play that card with me. Oh, hi, Mars. I actually did not anticipate fighting you guys, so I'm not ready. At all. Fantastic. And you're starting off with your Bronzong, which I should be able to rip in half. Even if it does have heat proof. Because I know for a fact, as I've used one, Bronzong is not able to one-shot even a Rafiki with extra sensory or psychic. Even after a Flare Blitz. But it could survive a Flare Blitz, but not this one, because... You are not Defense EV trained, because you're stupid. Bronzong, dead ski doodles. You're probably gonna send out Crobat next, right? Nope, only still Goldbat, huh? Probably gonna lead with Air Cutter or Toxic, so bye bye. I probably gonna use Rock Slide, but I didn't want to risk it missing. Say hello to none of your attacks doing any damage. Yep, there's Air Cutter. And that was a crit too, so now you get to die. Oh, fuck you. And I still go through the confusion, thank you! Let's go ahead and speed that up because now he's dead. Do 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 do. I actually have 10 questions of the day written down right next to me, and I kind of want to ask them all, but I'll wait. Purgly! Joy! Night Slash! And other shit. This time just Slash. I'm, su I'm surprised this um, Purgly does not know Earthquake. And I've always found Purgly to be surprisingly fast for its ridiculous bulk. 
And the thing is, it's not even that bulky. You look at it, you think it's going to be a bulky tank that can't move, but instead it's fast that can't take a hit. Speed that up. Oh, fantastic. There we are. There we are. Slash again. Thank you for doing almost no damage, and take your complimentary flash cannon to the face, and I win! Commander Mars, you've been defeated! I don't have a vendetta against you, you have one against me, I'm just defending myself, stupid woman. How am I supposed to get information about our missing master? You really are weak, pitifully so. I'm embarrassed you could be a commander, I'll go next. Ah, uh, another one! Then let me guess, I have to fight the two grunts, and then I have to fight Charon. Another Bronzong! Still level 58. You guys were much more threatening in a double battle when you had two Bronzongs, one that used a reflect move and the other one that actually had damaging moves. Well then again, I was fighting with an idiot companion who lived with a Munchlax that kept swallowing and spitting up. There we go. I'm glad I have the speed up function for these battles, otherwise they'd take so goddamn long. Golbat! Hi, Golbat! I know I can survive at least one air cutter from you, so I'm gonna take a risk and go with Rockslide! Okay, that hit, and since my physical damage is ridiculous, that should have one-shot him easily enough. Why these guys aren't Crobats yet, I don't know. Cyrus had a Crobat. These guys should be able to get Crobats. 63! Awesome. Still not ready for Elite Four rematches, but okay. Skunk Tank! You know sl Night Slash, Sludge Bomb... Flamethrower, probably toxic? Uh, Fuck it. Yoro! God, I wish I had an earth ty ground type move on my team right now. Jesus Christ, all that health. And still getting one-shotted by a crit. Thank you, Rafiki, for being OP as shit. I could have swept both with um, Rafiki. I just didn't want to risk Rock Slide not hitting the other one. Quit flaunting your toughness. I'm not flaunting my toughness. How dare you! I'm going to look over... I'm going to go look for him. Distortion World, you'll go there. I'm quits. Wow. Quitting to do my own thing? Wow, what babies. Now that I've beaten you however many times, now you're quitting? Jeez. Ugh. Going to go back to being ordinary girls. Bullshit. An ordinary girl, you're not. <laughs> Journey, blah, blah, blah. Can I please heal myself now? <laughs> what did I see in Cyrus' immature overthinking buffoon? Destroys his own creation for his ludicrous vision. No thanks to him, I have to struggle with the pieces. Eh, the young can live with their dreams, so I prefer to remain firmly in reality. Money is paramount. I'm not dealing with you. The other galactic members who did all suffered consequences. Oh, we'll be off to collect the magma stone and solve for the money! Give me the loot! Give me the loot! That's what I think of when I hear them say it's all for the money. Go ahead and uh, do some heelsy doodles. And now that we're in Mount Stark, I forgot what the normal type here is. Probably should have anticipated fire types. But it looks like we've got strength puzzles, which everyone knows I just love. And we've got about six minutes left in this episode. So hopefully these strength puzzles won't take too long. Oh, god damn it! Level 50-something Weezing, thank you for the 13k experience. I did not know my repel had worn off. Oh, this is an easy enough puzzle. You push, you push, and you push! Alright, let's go over this way and see what this item was. An escape rope! How fun! Alright, what do we got over here? We got, uh, another item. Eh. PowerPoint up! That's actually quite nice. And then we got... What do we got over here? We got more strength. God, I hate the strength in this game. I hate strength in any, any game, simply because of how long it takes. And now, okay, it turns out you need Rock Smash. You know, if they were to make um, strength a rock-type move, and they would make Rock Smash, like, 60 power instead of 40, with a chance to lower defense 50% of the time, I would actually enjoy using it. Like, the same thing with Cut, if they made it like a Grass-type 60 power move, it would be perfect. I wouldn't mind using it, but Cut's 50 power normal. Strength is 80 power normal. Rock Smash is 40 power fighting. It's just ridiculous. 
you're gonna make HMs that can't be erased and you need them, you might as well do shit. But I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly save it here. Alright, we're saved up and it's time to move on. And I don't... Oh. Hey, dude. What's going on? Team Galactic's here. Let's team up. Yay, we're going with Buck, which means I get healed after every battle and then I have to use my healing items again. Thank God. But that also means double battles are plenty. Oh, God. God damn it, Buck. Yeah, I don't know where anything is in here, by the way, so it's gonna be mostly me wandering around and cutting out all these battles, which is just gonna be so much fun. Just have to battle now. Yes, you do. Alright, uh, the game's broken again, for some reason. Uh, that's the wrong way. Uh, for some reason, he's got a level 5 Ratata with him, so I know what I have to do. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit this area, save the game and exit it, and come back, and then hopefully, Riley, or Buck, will be fixed. Alright, here's hoping that he's fixed. I'll figure out in the next battle if he's fixed or not. It's annoying, though. That last battle was extremely irritating. 59 Crobat, 59 Ursaring, 48 Glalie, 48, um, 58 Glalie, 58 Gliscor, and other shit. Just annoying. Constantly healing, it was really irritating. God damn it, repels! I do think Black and White's really only main redeeming feature was the ability to reuse your repels without having to go back into the menu. Alright, let's see what's over here. God, this place is just a repels nightmare. Oh, great. Rock Clan can't be used if you have someone with you. How does that make sense? I gotta run down. Oh, what's over here? There could be an item. Yep, of course, there's an item there that I can get if I can rock climb, but I can't rock climb when a pussy is with me. Alright, let's go ahead and um, see if he's fixed. If he's not fixed, this is gonna be an incredibly annoying battle. We got bird types and fighting types on the same team together. That's just... <sighs> oh, thank God he's back with his level 63 clay doll. Anyway, that was a 55 Staravia, 57 Firo, and 59 Noctowl, and the other guy had a 58 Breloom and a 58 Toxicroak. Easy enough battle, actually. I could have... That could have been easy enough if I had been by myself, so... God, I don't know where anything is. Damn it. I did not know that was the exit. I hate these types of areas that are just so massive in scale and the repels keep wearing off and it's not fun. It's not a fun time. And with all the shouting, I'm gonna have to get some water soon because I'm not used to talking this long for this volume and things. Stuff. I don't feel like using the dousing machine to find items here, so fuck this particular area in general. Uh God damn, I hate this area. No, I hate this area. Well, at least I know there, at least where one item is. It's only going to cost me three repels to get there. Uh, repels effect wore off. Fantastic. Let me guess, I can't use strength when I've got someone with me. Oh, no, I can use strength. Okay. Yeah, I'm not used to recording because I've been out for a while, so my throat's starting to hurt, and it's only been about 20 minutes. And uh, I've got about a minute left in the recording session, so hopefully I at least get to the area where the Magma Stone is before I run out of time. Of course, if I have to fight too many battles, it's... <sighs> anyway, this is probably two Ace Trainers. What is space? Uh, emptiness? Alright, one of these guys had a little 61 Drapion, the other one had a Pupitar level 58. And something else that was level 58 that I one-shot it with, uh... A Torterra. There we are. Anyway, that was Overheat, which, um... I forgot what Overheat does, to be honest. It's been so long since I've used it. God, I wish I had Rock Climb to get all these goddamn items. God, I hate this area so much, even if it does have incredible music. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see what's over here. God damn it, there's still so many battles left. Those are not rock smashable. Fantastic. Ah, oh, more repels wearing off. Thank God for the speed up function. I wouldn't have gotten half as far as I have in this episode without it. Oh, my timer's about to go off, so let me just go ahead and keep going for a bit. Ah, uh, one more battle and then I'll end off the episode. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go through Mount Stark again after this. Oh, great. A dragon trainer. 
The only thing my companion has is level 63 Claydol. Fun. Alright, he had a level 60 Mod Champ. This one had a level 57 Gibble, Dragonair, and uh, Gabite. And with that, I'm going to end off the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for me. Let's try to get to 5 likes for my return. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, where we'll hopefully get through the rest of this goddamn mountain. Anyway, take care, guys.